Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here, and in this video, we're going to talk about the MIUI 12 update for the Redmi K20 Pro. So MIUI 12 is the latest version of MIUI announced um, a couple of weeks back. Now we have the MIUI 12 rolling out for the Indian variant of the Redmi K20 and the K20 Pro and few other devices are also getting the MIUI update. So Redmi K20 Pro already has uh, the Android 10 update along with MIUI 11. Now we have got the MIUI 12 update on this device. So in this video we will be looking at uh, what are the new features offered on this uh, device along with the MIUI uh, 12. Now let's uh, see. So we have just updated the device. Now you can just unlock it. And you can see the new wallpaper in action. It's a live wallpaper or rather called super wallpaper. So we'll talk about all those things uh, in a while. So let's get started. First is the new UI. So if you look at uh, the UI, you can see that uh, this is completely new, the new control center, the new notification toggles, the new settings panel. So everywhere uh, the new UI uh, takes effect. So this is something which is really new. So this is more of a clutter free UI and feels really nice. You can see that uh, there is less amount of clutter on the settings panel. It's spaced well so that you can actually have a look at all the settings uh, easily. So that's one of the new uh, features. Now next is a notification toggles. So uh, previously notification and uh, quick toggles are combined together. Now they are separated. For example, if you want to uh, go to the notification area, just swipe from the left side, you get this notification. So this is the notification. Now, if you want to go for the quick toggles or rather the toggles for changing everything, so just swipe from the right and you get this uh, toggle. So this is something new. These are the new toggles. So if you just swipe from the left, you get the notification. Swipe from the right side, you get the toggles. Now this is the control center. So toggles are called the control center here. So control center, you can see that you can just swipe down and you can see a whole lot of options here. And uh, here also you get uh, see uh, four five icons. These are the major icons. So mobile data. And uh, if you go to the Wi-Fi, press and hold the Wi-Fi. You can see that uh, the Wi-Fi settings, the quick toggle to uh, handle Wi-Fi is there. Bluetooth, if you turn on, you can go to the Bluetooth option. Now uh, we'll just go back here. So here you can see that uh, there is a flashlight, quick flashlight option. Then uh, you get uh, these uh, toggles. So there are lots of toggles available. So uh, you can actually customize these toggles. Click here and you can see that uh, by the regular options, you can customize these toggles. So you can rearrange these toggles and uh, change them and click uh, done once you're done with this. So these are the new toggles. You can see that you can expand these toggles here. So that's the new toggles. So one new feature about this device is the floating window. So floating window works uh, for all the apps. Say for example, I'm just in the Play Store. So just open Play Store. And if you go from the settings, you can see there is an option called the floating window. Uh, so there is the floating window. So just click here. And you can see that now uh, the Play Store has gone into the floating window. There are other options to access the floating window, but not all of them are available here in the Redmi K20 Pro. You can actually swipe uh, and go to the uh, uh, the multitasking menu to go to the floating window but that was not available in our redmi k20 pro so this is another option just uh, swipe from here and uh, go to the uh, uh, floating window option and then this will uh, turn on the floating window now what happens is if we just tap uh, you can see that this is the new floating window and i can just re resize this floating window so now it's gone once again if i click here so there you go so I am uh, on top of uh, a new app here. So there you go. You can see that now I am top of uh, weather and play stories on top of that. So this is the floating window. It works uh, literally on all the apps including PUBG Mobile. But then PUBG Mobile the uh, options are limited because uh, you have to get the full screen view for gaming. But this is something which is quite good even if you are working on something else. You can uh, have this floating window and uh, then. Uh, you can minimize it as well so that's the new floating window option uh, on the uh, redmi k20 pro with the miui 12. now new wallpapers so uh, if you just uh, press and hold here you can see the wallpapers uh, my wallpapers and you can see the super wallpapers so here we have a couple of super wallpapers home and the red planet so uh, right now selected home you can see that uh, this is how it works So just apply this now we'll just go to the lock screen so there you go this is the new super wallpaper just uh, press and you can see that uh, this is how it works so that's the new super wallpaper on the uh, miui 12. 
Now it also comes with an app drawer. Uh, by default, this device already comes with a Poco launcher, the app drawer. You can see that this is the app drawer. But if you are uh, on a device uh, or a, rather on a Xiaomi device without the app drawer, you can what you can do is now you get the app drawer, and these are uh, uh, actually arranged here. So you can see that apps are literally grouped together. This is already there on the Redmi K20 Pro, so we are not going in detail. But if you are using a device without the app drawer, you now get the app drawer with the MIUI 12 update. Now camera UI is something strange so if you open the camera you can see that the uh, icons are now much better and readable you can see that portrait more more if you go 48 megapixel vlog mode and you can also edit these options so if you go here you can see that uh, there is also uh, 48 megapixel mode pro mode is there you can also get the 48 megapixel mode so the UI is much cleaner on the photos uh, or other camera UI and looks uh, pretty good as well so these are some of the options uh, in the camera UI now storage uh, if you go storage there are lots of animations included so just click here and uh, about phone you can see this animation for storage so if you just uh, tilt the device you can see that uh, it will also have these animations now uh, if you go to the open the storage you can see this is uh, the new uh, animation available in the storage which actually looks uh, pretty good uh, in terms of the features offered so next let's go to the sim card and mobile networks you can see here two sim card and you can select the defaults here easily you can see that uh, default for calls default for data you can select here and uh, you don't uh, have to uh, manually select uh, them it's very easy here uh, with the new uh, sim card and mobile network so this is something which is really good then uh, next is the privacy setting so uh, here again pri privacy protection you can see this is the new ui in fact uh, this is sadly not the new ui we haven't got the new ui on the k20 pro the new ui is much more uh, uh, feature rich but this is something which we haven't got here so it has a lot of privacy protection including apps which are using a microphone your location all those things can be tracked here so that's something which uh, xiaomi has done uh, really good now another option is a gesture so this device comes with a gesture so if you go to uh, the additional settings uh, full screen display and you can go with the full screen uh, gestures so just uh, here this is a gestures so gesture support is there now if you go to the settings you can see these are the gestures available so full uh, android gestures are supported on the miui uh, 12 for redmi k20 pro now there is dark mode dark mode uh, which has been already there uh, so we are not going in detail but then a uh, dark mode has been uh, simplified here you can see that uh, there is a dark mode so dark mode add just wallpaper to the dark mode so just enabled here so this is the dark mode so uh, nothing much here but then uh, you can uh, see here some options like adjust contrast automatically individual apps uh, some apps might be displayed incorrectly in the dark mode so you can restrict using dark mode for such apps so those things are included in the dark mode so this is uh, something uh, which is improved in the uh, redmi k20 pro with uh, the miui 12 now always on display is also there which has been already there now you get uh, to see a lot of styles here you can see here there are lots of styles to customize again this is something which are, which are already there uh, so we are not going in detail but then uh, these are some options available so these are some options in the miui 12 for redmi k20 pro so hope this video was useful uh, so in case you have not got the update you can manually update it uh, you can just download the link in the description and uh, go to the about phone uh, and click the miui version select here choose update package and uh, you can select the update package you can copy to any folder right now we are copied to download folder and uh, we can just select it and it start the update process so that's how you can update it if you want to manually download it you, we have the link in the description this is basically for the indian uh, consumers the indian variant of the redmi k20 pro the global variant also is there so that is different uh, this is the one uh, we have in the description is the indian variant so that was uh, the MIUI 12 on the Redmi K20 Pro. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.